Sure, I am Kurt Houston. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Azure Dynamics. Uh, I am a, actually an engineer by trade. Uh, I've worked for GM and Delphi, Allied Signal, and Hayes Leverance, and now I have the opportunity uh, to run uh, our operations group within Azure Dynamics, an exciting company uh, that makes hybrid and hybrid electric vehicles. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about Azure and its history? I will. We're actually a Canadian company, and we're really a technology company. We're a company that uh, invests in hyperelectric and electric vehicle uh, components, integration, and validation, uh, and, and puts those in existing products. We're probably the best known right now for uh, working with the Ford Motor Company, uh, making uh, an electric version of their Transit Connect vehicle. After attending last year's conference, what made you decide to become a sponsor for Business of Plugging In in 2011? We, uh, we, we really like the Business of Plugging In conference. It, it actually gives us a chance to uh, not only uh, talk about our company and what we're doing, uh, but to interface with other companies and other professionals and companies within the space to understand what they're doing and, and uh, for us all to work together to help make electrification a lot more mainstream. We certainly all know that we need to work on bringing our costs down, uh, we need to work on bringing our range up, but it's nice to get together um, in, a, in a very formal environment with really leaders and experts in all areas of electrification and share best practices and, and kind of work together uh, to bring the industry forward. Perfect. What do you think the future of the EV industry looks like? Well, we, we think it's great. Uh, we, we, I talked a, little, a minute ago about uh, the, the challenges we have. It's pretty easy to focus on the challenges. Wow, the vehicles are too expensive and they don't go as far if they're full electric as conventional vehicles. Uh, but what we feel uh, like is, is we're understanding that more. We know there's a roadmap there to, to address both of those issues and both of those issues will uh, get better with time, with investment, and with technology advancements. So what we're able to do now is, is demonstrate that the technology is reliable, it's consistent, it works, that lithium-ion batteries uh, give a lot longer life than what uh, maybe lead-acid batteries have done in the past. Um, so we see companies still very interested in it, in, in trying products and investing in it, and uh, we're very excited. And, and we know with the, the many applications that are being developed from hybrid electric vehicles to plug-ins to full electric vehicles, And then, um, any, any particular reasons why companies should invest in electric vehicles if they're not already? Right. So we, we uh, our primary customers are, are commercial fleet operators. They're folks that uh, depend on vehicles to, to deliver their services or their products or, or our services and products to individuals. So it, I feel like it's uh, very important, number one, for those companies uh, to, to try out the product invest in the technology to understand what the benefits could be for them, uh, to make sure they feel comfortable with it, they understand what charging looks like, how long it takes to charge the vehicles, how, how much range they have in the vehicles, basically become comfortable with the product. So that's the first reason. Uh, the second reason is it's certainly a, it's a great hedge against fuel prices. Uh, we, we know that fuel prices are uh, it's likely that they will continue to climb over time. It's good uh, to, to, for them to at least put a portion of their fleet in electric or hydroelectric vehicles to try to reduce the dependency not only for them, uh, but what we might see as a country. And then number, number three, uh, the, the prices and, and the range issues, they will all continue to improve. So as those people have started investing in their fleets, as they get the product in and understand it, they'll be able to be able to take advantage of the reduced and improved value of those products in the future. So we, we think it's really critical for our customers to begin to understand what the products can offer them, and we certainly see that uh, happening. Great. Any uh, last thoughts, plugs, anything like that that you shared with you? Right. Well, we certainly uh, look forward to the Business of Plugging In conference this year. We look forward to participating in it. We'll have a Transit Connect Electric uh, for folks to drive and participating in the event, so uh, we wish uh, the organizers